Hi there, and welcome to our travel guide of London. The capital city of England, London is one of the most iconic cities in the world, and today we'll show you some of our favourite places to visit when in London. Home to almost 9 million people, London sits on the banks of the Thames River, and its history dates back to Roman times. The incredibly diverse history and rich culture mean that visiting London is a must-do when coming to the United Kingdom. At 443 feet high, the London Eye offers visitors some of the most spectacular views of London across the River Thames to Parliament House and Big Ben. Speaking of which, Britain's House of Parliament and Home of the Government are located on the banks of the Thames. Big Ben is the name given to the giant clock which can be seen for miles. Made eternally famous by Chevy Chase's European vacation when they're stuck driving around the roundabout. Look kids, it's Big Ben. Going to see Buckingham Palace is also a must-do when in London. Buckingham Palace is the central London residence of the royal family. Before the Queen passed away, if the flag was raised, it was a sign that she was in residence. The gardens around the palace are especially lovely and teeming with bird life and well worth a wander if you have the time. If you're enjoying our video, now might be a great time to hit the like button and also to subscribe to our channel. And speaking of gardens, covering an enormous 350 acres of central London, Hyde Park is a great place to escape the crowds and get back to nature, even if it's just for a little while. Built in 1065, Westminster Abbey is a magnificent masterpiece of Gothic architecture and is the final resting place of many of the royal family. Have you visited London before? Are any of our favourite places on your list too? We'd love to hear about anything else we may have missed, so feel free to leave us a comment below. Trafalgar Square is located in the heart of London, known for its very friendly pigeons, Nelson's Column, the huge fountains and the four large British lions.
The impressive dome of St Paul's Cathedral can be seen from all over London. This lovely old cathedral is enormous and beautiful and is an absolute must see when in London. If you have the energy, you can climb all the way to the top of the dome for magnificent views of London. The Tower Bridge is one of London's most iconic and photographed sites. The bridge crosses the Thames River and views of the bridge and views from the bridge are incredible. Close by is the Tower of London, built in 1078 by William the Conqueror and home to Britain's crown jewels. You'll notice that many of London's attractions are illuminated at night. This is a great idea in my humble opinion and gives a completely different perspective to each attraction. If you are interested in war history, you'll love the Imperial War Museum as it has a vast collection of historical military items. There are cannons and planes hanging from the ceiling, it's really very cool. The Victoria and Albert is another one of London's impressive museums and houses a huge collection of over 4,000 historical pieces of art, textiles, sculptures, ceramics, glass and furniture. The building itself is pretty impressive too. Located in the leafy suburb of Knightsbridge, Harrods is renowned as the world's most luxurious department store. Its seasonal Christmas department and the impressive food halls are especially famous and definitely worth a look. Covent Gardens is a trendy part of London known for its markets, cafes and boutique shopping. It's one of our favourite places to enjoy a cuppa while people watching. Another extremely English thing to do when in London is to have a drink and definitely a meal at a local pub. There are plenty of them around, each with their own cool history. Piccadilly Circus is the London equivalent of New York's Times Square. The area is filled with loads of cool shops and is a great place to browse away an afternoon.
Carnaby Street in Soho is a fabulous pedestrianised shopping district located in the West End. The Carnaby Street area is well known for its hip vibe, boutique shops and cafes, restaurants and vibrant nightlife. We're going to finish our travel guide of London with a couple of amazing museums. Tate Modern is arguably the home of England's largest collection of modern art. Built in the 1940s as a power station, the building alone is well worth a visit. The art is an incredible bonus. Plus, it's free to visit. Also free to visit is the British Museum, which has an eye-popping collection of artefacts, estimated to number about 8 million permanent displays. It is thought that this is the largest and most comprehensive collection in existence of human history and culture, dating back over 2 million years. Wow. Thanks London, it's time to go and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button as there's a lot more to come.